and back into the Korean servers to keep following the event I was following before I casted this Vile Spanishua versus Rude Kiwikaki matchup. Um, it's gonna be another match taken from the series I was following before. The King of the Hill promoted by FX Open on the Korean servers and it involves several of the well-known Korean pros as well as some of the foreigners that have been living in Korea and staying there to play on the GSL. So, spawning here on the south side, this light blue Protoss, it's OGS Hero. OGS Hero, as I already presented on the previous match, he's a B-teamer on Team OGS, so not the best Protoss ever, at least at the moment, but um, I think he's a work in progress. He was a B-teamer back on the days of Brood War as well, and now he's a B-teamer here on OGS, but for the team to actually give him the chance of staying there, I'm assuming that they saw some potential in him, and uh, well, he must be fighting now through Code B and the offline pre-qualifiers for code A, which is hellish as you guys know, and um, hopefully you're going to hear more of him in the future. He's going to be facing against this purple Zerg, FXO Moonglade. He's an Australian gamer as you guys know, played Warcraft 3 before he transitioned into Starcraft 2, and he's probably the most well-known gamer from the C community at the moment. He's a solid Zerg, he's been staying in Korea currently as you all know, been trying to fight his way there on the GSL. Still haven't picked up uh, a lot of good results, but uh, I think he has the right attitude and the right posture towards this kind of uh, high-end gaming because he stuck with his guns, he stayed in Korea and he's just trying to learn from the best. I guess he's just trying to evolve his game, playing with all the Korean pros and we might be seeing more of him in the future. For now he had a couple of short uh, um, appearances on the GSL and the World Championships as well. He didn't do tremendous well but uh, just the fact that he actually is there is already something to commend him for. Anyway, focusing the match and taking a look at what both players are doing. As you can see we had Hero just prodding and poking, taking a look with his probe at the base from Moonglade and noticing that he went Extractor first with the spawning pool so he's gonna have some Zerglings soon enough to probably try to take care of the harass that this probe has been uh, doing into his mineral line and now trying to hang here on the Natural Expo to make sure that um, you, Moonglade won't be allowed to get his hatchery down whenever he feels like it. He's gonna have to fight his way through this probe. There's already four Zerglings coming out so I guess that Moonglade will be taking care of that soon enough. And meanwhile inside the Heroes base we have Gateway into Cybercore already both gas running so he might be needing gas early on for something. He might be planning ahead for now getting the Warp Gate technology while the Zerglings take that uh, probe away from the Natural Expo and allow Moonglade to get his hatchery down. A bit delayed yes but not that much that would hurt his economy or his plans for this game on the long run I'm assuming. And now he's just running all the way down trying to go after this probe while his zergling speed finishes so I guess that this is gonna take a while. Inside Heroes base there's still not much going on. Notice that he's stacking gas, there it is the reason why. So a really quick Stargate ensuing for a hero. Kind of an interesting opening, not something that I'm used to see every day but uh, apparently he's gonna go for some quick void rays I would say. Phoenixes might do the trick for scouting purposes, but um, this early, early I would say that a uh, couple of Void Rays would be interesting to harass. I mean, Moonblade doesn't have much of a defense, as you guys can see. He's just getting the second Queen out and still finishing his hatchery. So uh, besides the Queens, there wouldn't be much to just blast away at his Void Ray play. It's an idea. I guess that Hero will start uh, making his decisions and see which way he's heading soon enough. Getting another gateway down and there it is. Let's see which way is he going. I think he's gonna start working on it as fast as possible. There it is. Void Ray and Chrono boosted instantly. So he's gonna get some Void Rays out to harass. For now Moonblade only has what? A couple of Queens and that's it? Yeah. He has a couple of Queens to defend and um, if... Um, if Hero goes for at least a couple of Void Rays, he might be able to put out a really good damage there. The Queens won't be able to handle the damage. On one on one might be a close call, but two Void Rays against one Queen, the Queen will be just completely crushed. Meanwhile, we have Moonblade advancing with one of his Overlords. He's trying to take a look at his opponent's base. Will he be able to see that Stargate? Because if he does, he's gonna be able probably to react in time. Let's take a look, see if he actually spotted the... Yeah, he did. There it is. Stargate spotted. And obviously here as well, this Void Ray destroying the, 
the Overlord, it's the obvious sign that over uh, that Void Rays are coming, and he needs to start getting some defenses. His answer, instead of going for any kind of Spore Crawlers, it's going to be getting two more Queens, so plenty of defenses against a single Void Ray, yes, but um, I'm not sure if Hero is going to commit himself to more Void Ray play. For now, he's just hanging there. He decided to expand, grab his Expo here on the Natural Expo. He has some defenses here, not much of a bulk, but enough to at least withstand the pressure. While on Moonblade's side, the Queens are just popping out. There's already the Lair Tech getting ready, so he's going to be able to choose which way to go to defend against any kind of RRS. We have the Void Ray here, but I don't think this Void Ray will be very successful against two Queens and forcing Hero to pull back. So... This Void Ray still haven't done much of a work for now, just flying around. The harass on the base still didn't occur. And meanwhile, we have already Moonglade clearing the rocks into this third base. So I'm assuming he's engaging his macro mode and preparing himself to get that third base ASAP as quick as possible. He is aware that his opponent is already running on two bases. Let me take a look. No, he still haven't checked that he needs to send something down here to take a peek at it. But um, for now, we have here on hero side getting more gateways. There it is, there's a big stream of Zerglings advanced towards this south, po south position, the natural expo from Hero, and ooh, force field play blocking the path and forcing uh, their Moonblade to pull back while this Void Ray tries to kill some uh, workers on the mineral line on the natural expo from Moonblade. The two queens finally coming up and chewing it away, but nice micro by Hero, making sure that only the shields got poked at, got destroyed, and he's going to be able to regenerate them, while all of that Zergling force is just coming back up from the north once more and um, seems like that he's just using them for patrol duty and keeping uh, control of the Zenaga watchtowers. He doesn't have enough to start harassing here and notice how Hero has been stretching his wall here. There it is, another pylon, the forge, so he's just stretching a big wall that will force the Zerg player to flank all the way around if he even wants to attempt coming up this ramp. It won't be easy. Uh, meanwhile, here, this Void Ray keeps going back and forth in the middle of the map, has four kills, killed some workers on that mineral line, that's something, but um, I'm pretty sure that Hero would be expecting a lot better results from this Void Ray. He went so quickly for it and spent Chrono Boost, but I got, actually, at least for now, he didn't pay it off. Moonblade, meanwhile, is taking care of his economy game. As you can see, there it is, the third hatchery, third base getting grabbed, and on the economy game, he's still a bit ahead with more harvesters and a little bit ahead on the mineral counter as you can see, and apparently he's just committed to get more and more of this uh, economy game rolling because he's taking care of the rocks here on the rich mineral field as well and uh, might be establishing a fourth base really soon. He needs to be careful. He, if he stretches himself way, way too far, he might be finding himself with a lot of bases but no way to defend it. And uh, against a proper push done by Hero, he's going to be crushed. As you can see, Hero is taking care of his upgrades, so he might be considering some kind of time push when he finds it suitable. Um, might be wrong, he's just taking care of the rocks as well, so he might be feeling that um, the economy play might be the way to go. Keep in mind that now he has an observer taking a look at everything getting built on Moonglade's side. Two Evo chambers, also the Hydralisk then already here on the back of the main base from Moonglade, so quite a solid air defense and plenty of DPS from those Hydralisks, obviously. And uh, meanwhile, yeah, there it is, third base finished. He's going to be able to transfer some workers there while the Void Ray appears here on this third base. And uh, now we, OGS Hero knows that he needs to keep moving. There goes his Void Ray finally. Not the best investment ever, but yeah, well, at least it was used for some scouting purposes and got like four or five kills. It's something, I guess. But uh, like I was saying, Hero knows that... Um, uh, uh, Moonglade just finished his third base and he might consider trying to push now and he's sending all of his forces as you can see straight north here to try to destroy the third base before it even gets established and starts uh, uh, giving profit to Moonglade and incoming a massive battle here sending even if Overseer I think he was afraid of having some DTs around the area or something but um, yeah that Overseer just passed by and now I think that uh, Moonglade is going to lose his base here he doesn't have enough to defend the forces from Moonglade are not solid enough. He only has a couple of um, couple of Hydralisks there, as you guys can see. And meanwhile, we have that Overseer flying above the base from um, 
base from a, a OGS Hero, the main base, and taking a look at everything inside the base, noticing how many warp gates he has, how far he can go by replenishing his army, and incoming another assault from Moonblade, more Hydralisks trying to destroy the forces, there's a lot of sentries here, and notice how solid this force field play is, he's just making a long barrier that avoids all of those units from reaching the reaching the forces from Hero, and Hero was just able to able to crush the forces here from Moonglade, so Moonglade is stuck on two bases once more, and keep in mind that inside this main base, there's already not much left of the mineral field, with Moonglade deciding to go for a second hatchery, a macro, macro hatchery, inside this main base, and Roach Warden. Well, he already has the Spire here on the back, so he might get some uh, airplay ensuing soon enough, and the Roaches will be fairly useful, at least to make a front line on front of those um, of those hydrolisks so they can DPS freely and calmly. Inside OGS uh, bases, as you can see, we have already here the robotics facility and the robo bay getting some colossi out i'm assuming and he's playing out of three bases just fine there's no harassing coming on moonglade side moonglade is just committed to his macro game he wants to establish at least a three bla three base play apparently and makes sense i mean he's going for corruptors now the game is entering his uh, uh, mid late game and he needs to keep expanding or else he's going to be dominated by his protoss opponent for now we have here two colossi already joining the fray this death ball army count as you can see we have OGS hero way ahead 132 against 98 it is quite a difference this uh, late in the game and uh, this might be spelling trouble for Moonglade Moonglade has been committing himself to a lot of macro play he wants and he knows he needs to stay ahead on the base count but um, he needs some kind of proper army here or else he will be in trouble if his opponent decides to make a push anytime soon Missile attacks level 2, Gleal reconstitution, the speed for the roaches, so he's getting a nice mix here with roaches and hydralisks. While on OGS hero side, we have the ground armor level 1 and some more colossus coming out. Big base play here by uh, uh, OGS Hero. I'm assuming that his economy might be thriving there. Yeah, there it is. Look at the gap now. Because he was able to play out of three bases just calmly with no harass whatsoever by Moonglade. He's just benefiting from the income and he's going to be able to replenish his army so, so fast. I think that Moonglade needs to consider starting to advance, starting to... Uh, um, harass his opponent or else if he just allows the Protoss player to keep massing up this massive army this is going to spell trouble because the death ball will be just much too big for him to handle the pressure he's going to lose his rich mineral field here the base there is going to get stuck and incoming the forces from Moonglade they're trying to finish off the aggression here with those corruptors trying to reach those um, those colossi but no he's just being well microed by OGS hero keeping them on the back now finally reaching the colossi colossi being shot at while the forces here from Moonglade are just slowly getting burned down by the lasers of the colossi there's a big stalker force here with the upgrades by the way I'm gonna show them soon enough for you they have one upgrade on the attack while uh, the forces from Moonglade have 1-1, one, one, one on the attack, one on the defense, and now a single spine crawler trying to defend, and Moonglade can't handle the pressure here, I mean, it's just way too much, as you can see, and um, Moonglade is just pulling back, withdrawing once more to his natural expo, and try to establish his game from there, no, he GG's out of the match, I think he just noticed that he was way, way behind, and there wouldn't be any chance for him to uh, be back up and running in time for not to be crushed into a, onto a second wave that OGS Hero would be preparing for him. And as you can see, OGS Hero still had a big army here, so he would be pushing ahead and crushing anything moving on this natural expo as well. Moonblade doesn't have enough defenses. As you can see, at this moment you had 2-1 on this, the units from um, from Moonglade and you had 1-1 one, one on the units from um, from Hero still Hero was able to build and macro up the biggest army well, a sign that he could be playing out of three bases for so long with no harass whatsoever I would say that a bit of harass from the Zerg player would be a good idea drops or sending some Zerglings, I don't know but uh, he needs to find solutions there if you just let the um, Protoss player macro like a beast, he will crush you like a beast. Well, game done. Moonblade is out of this King of the Hill, unfortunately. I hope you guys enjoyed this matchup anyway. It was an interesting one. I always love to see uh, Koreans facing against the top foreigners. And, uh, well, see you all later. Have fun.